I like that sound. That means shit is finna start. YouTube, today I have the greatest sneaker or greatest shoe ever made. I know that's a big claim and it's also my personal opinion, but I'm so excited to have this shoe. This same week, I showed off a grail shoe that I've been trying to get forever and I got my favorite shoe ever made. I've been wanting this shoe for a while, for about six months now actually. I finally got it and it is of course the triple black Ultra Boost. Uncaged though, I know a lot of you guys probably thought it was the normal Ultra Boost because that one seems to have a little bit more hype than the Uncaged. Both of them have a ridiculous amount of hype but the Uncaged has a little bit less hype. And I'm glad that I was able to get one man, like if you guys follow me on Twitter, then you guys would know that I actually tweeted about it before any of the other like sneaker release Twitters released it. I was lucky when I got mine they had a full size run. I got done checking out, I went back, they still had a full size run. No one tweeted about it yet. And I tweeted at someone saying, yo, the triple black ultra boosts are out, and then boom, all the freaking Instagram, I mean all the Twitter sneaker release people started tweeting about it and the shit sold out in seconds. Now I got two boxes today. I'm gonna be filming the tricolor Adidas unboxing and I'm gonna be filming the um, triple black ultra boost. And I don't know which one is the triple black ultra boost. I'm gonna make that decision the same way I make all of my really important life decisions, which is of course, any mini miny mo. Any mini miny mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If it hollers, let it go. We're on this one right now. My mom said to pick the very best one, and you are not it. So it's gotta be this one, because that one's not it. Why do I always, okay, there it is, never mind. I was gonna say, why do I always lose my knife? I always misplace it. That's, I do that with everything, man. Like, I do that with my wallet, my phone, freaking, get out of my way, chair. Man, I am so stoked. Before I get into this unboxing, of course, if you are not subscribed, change that, hit that little red box logo down below that says subscribe in it. And then, of course, also, most importantly, if you do not follow me on Instagram, definitely change that. These are for my personal collection. These will not be resold. I rarely ever keep hyped sneakers just because I don't really see a point because there's a bunch of unhyped sneakers that I can keep and then I can just sell the hype sneakers and make some money. But these I'm definitely keeping. I've been wanting these for a long time and I just, I can't sell these, man. You will see me styling these quite a bit on my Instagram. And you guys know I love black. I mean, I got the black blade, I got a black hoodie on, I got black on black freaking Adidas track pants. This is like my favorite hoodie. The only thing that would make this better is if it was black on black. Like if the Y was black, the three was black, this was, if everything was black, this hoodie would be fucking eight times doper than it is. No, it's not the right one. Damn. Last time I did that in the Supreme unboxing, it did not fail me, and this time it did, so you know. It's not always perfect, but it usually works. Oh, I'm so excited to open this shoe. And there you have it, the beautiful Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged Triple Black. Black on black, baby! Anyways, guys, I am so excited. Oh my goodness, this is a, come on. This box is kind of, um, I'm trying to open it from the wrong way. <laughs> Anyways, let's flip it around, and... <sighs> that was magical. All right, guys, so opening this box, oh my goodness, this shoe is so beautiful. Originally, I was gonna get the black Ultra Boost uncaged with the white boost, but I knew this was coming out. I really wanted to wait. I didn't know for sure if I was gonna be able to get this, only because I knew it had a lot of hype. All the triple black Ultra Boost, whether it's caged or uncaged, have a lot of hype. I think the caged is a little bit more hype. I think more people like the caged, which is kind of weird to me, because honestly, I think the uncaged is a lot better than the cage. Maybe it's the overall fit of the shoe or it's the sock-like little thing right here, but I will say that a lot of people like to remove their cages from the Ultra Boost that's caged, so it's like, why not just get this? You guys can let me know your opinion as to whether or not you like the cage or uncaged in the comments below, but personally, I prefer the uncaged. I think the uncaged is just such a clean shoe, and maybe it's because of what I wear and it goes better with what I wear. I wear the Adidas Z&E pants a lot. It's like my favorite pant right now. I have three pairs of the black ones, and I just love that pant. It's super, super comfortable. I've been trying to tell y'all, like, that is, if Adidas can make the jacket, as nice as the pants, that's gonna combat Tech Fleece 100%. And that's saying a lot, because Tech Fleece from Nike is pretty dope. That's like, it's, it's really hard to compare to the Tech Fleece, but Z&E 
in terms of the pants, they're they're definitely doing it. But anyways, those Zini pants look really good with any of the shoes that kind of have this type of prime knit upper because it's really tapered. So it has like a looser fit up top and then it tapers down kind of like some ninja slack sweatpants. I don't know, it's really, it's just like a combination of all of those and it's amazing. But this shoe goes so good with those pants. I love this shoe. I have a picture on my Instagram actually of me wearing the blue ones which are right here and I'm wearing it with the blue Z&E pants and I'm wearing it with a really dope white one-piece hoodie. Man, this is such a beautiful shoe. Just get a close-up of that bad boy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So clean. As you can see, it's not really triple black. It's more like uh, double black and then double gray because there's a lot of gray parts of the shoe. The cage on the back is definitely like a gray color. You have the Ultra Boost in black on it. Then you have gray hits throughout the entire shoe, like a dark slate and then black throughout the shoe as well. You got black stripes on the toe box. Another thing to point out with the Ultra Boost Uncaged is if you look on the toe box, let me remove the cardboard real quick. There's actually like a little structure to the toe. So if I press down on the top, you can kind of see this round part that goes around the toe box. And I didn't really notice it until I put these ones on. That kind of helps keep the structure of the upper prime knit material. You do not want to size down with these at all. I don't know. I mean, I would not recommend sizing down on these. My toes, get pretty close to the edge and it's a really nice snug fit when I go through the size. I do not know how going half a size down would work, but definitely I would recommend true to size on these, which I recommended in my other Ultra Boost Uncaged video, which if you guys want to see how those fit, I will link that at the end of this video. I know a lot of people are actually looking at paying resale for this shoe, so I want you guys to know about it and see it in person up close, well not in person, but up close and in your screen. <laughs> before buying it. Overall, really dope. This part right here is black, which I like. I wish they were all black, because I really do not like the gray color that accents that. And then the torsion bar, black on black. Everything is black, except for, of course, the slight gray hits, which I don't mind at all. I think it looks really dope. And it obviously gives it some texture. I wonder if they'll ever drop this, like an all straight black, no pattern, prime knit ultra boost like that would be crazy adidas if you're watching i'm telling y'all that's gonna that's gonna do numbers do that of course it still has the continental rubber sole so it's going to be nice and durable a lot more durable than the earlier uh versions of these shoes i know the uh ultra boost 1.0s did not have the continental rubber sole and a lot of people complained about the rubber getting torn through i have not had any issue with any of my shoes like tearing through the rubber or anything even my ultra boost atrs which if you guys know if you guys saw that video, which I will also link at the end of the screen, that's like the, I don't care what anyone says, that's the dopest on feet on YouTube. If you watch sneaker videos, go watch that video. If you don't think that's the dopest on feet, then you're high. I don't, I don't know what you're smoking, but you're crazy. That's by far the dopest on feet. I'll include a link to that video as well, but I took that shoe hiking and that still held up really well. Um, I wear these shoes a lot. I wear all my Ultra Boosts. I don't, you know, baby them by any means. And, uh... They still hold up for me. So the Continental soles definitely hold up nicely, which is good because Continental is a brand that, I mean, I use these on my bikes, so it's definitely nice to have some good quality rubber on the bottom of the shoe. All right, guys, so sadly, there will not be an on feet for this shoe, and the reason for that is because I have to fly to Houston tomorrow morning. I do not have time to film an on feet, but what I will say is if this video gets 3,000 likes, that's probably not gonna happen, so, you know, I don't know. If it gets 3,000 likes, I'll do it on feet plus a little outfit of the day showing you guys how I would style it. The reason I say that's probably not going to happen is because I only have like one or two videos on this channel that's gotten 3,000 likes and both of those got way more views than this video will probably get. But I don't know. if I don't really want to film one because they take so much time. But if you guys really want to see an on feet for this shoe, then I will do it. And like I said, if it gets 3,000 likes, I'll do a little on feet slash outfit of the day. I'll film it while I'm out in Houston with Paul Cantu. I'm flying out there tomorrow morning, which like I said, that is why I cannot film an on feet right now. I just do not have the time to film that and then get this out there in a reasonable time. But yeah, man, look at this shoe. This shoe is so clean. I might actually stick some uh, like round laces in here. I don't know yet for sure. I'm gonna see how it looks. But yeah, man, this shoe is just freaking gorgeous. Look at that. I'm so happy that I was able to get this. And like I said, man, if you guys missed this drop, follow me on Twitter because I was tweeting about all these releases that morning. I was tweeting about this release, the NMD tricolor release, the Pusha T release. And if you guys were following me on Twitter, you guys would have seen me tweet at a particular Twitter and say, yo, the triple black UBs uncaged just dropped. So, you know tweet about it let everyone know basically the main two things you should follow me on 
are definitely Instagram and Twitter. My Instagram is at the star life. My Twitter is at the star life. Both those will be on the screen and in the description below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if this video gets 3000 likes, I will do an on feet for this shoe. I cannot say thank you guys enough. I really do appreciate it. I'm so glad to finally have this shoe. This is probably my favorite shoe ever made. Like I can't think of a single shoe in my collection that I like more than this shoe. I can't think of a shoe that I've ever seen made that I like more than this shoe. So that is how big of a deal it is for me to finally have this. I've been waiting for this for months and ever since I saw this release, I was like, oh, I want one. And I finally got it. All I had to do was just be patient. I was, I was patient and it came through. Patience paid off. So I'm grateful. I actually have patience tattooed on my belly. Look at that guys. Patience. And it all worked out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life. Oh my goodness, I'm still so happy, guys. I'm so happy right now. Okay, let me make sure I'm in focus. All right, I'm in focus. Okay, um, yeah, I just can't get over how delicious this shoe is. This shoe is just absolutely scrumptious. I love this shoe. I'm so glad that I finally got it. But anyways, um, I don't normally film like an outro. I just needed to let you guys know like I'm still so freaking hyped on this shoe and I'm so happy to have it. But I'm gonna leave a little uh, subscribe button right here on my face. And then on this side, I'm gonna leave a link to the Ultra Boost ATR on feet that I did, which is the dopest on feet in the world. You should probably check it out. And then I'm gonna leave a link to the Ultra Boost Uncaged so you can see it on feet of how it fits right now, but it's not the on feet of this shoe. Like I said, if you wanna see that on feet, hit that like button. And if it gets 3,000. Anyways, for real, I love you guys, and uh, I got a ton of videos coming soon. So, bye!